Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just gonna go straight into this game one. It looks like on good old Pokemon Stadium. All right, and I have heard uh, good things about Meta Knight. Like I've seen, like you know, the bridge combos. Going immediately to down tilt and into throw. Mm -hmm. Not getting much off of it though. All right, yep. Yeah. Aki setting up that zone with the splat bomb. Gonna be kind of difficult for Meta Knight to deal with. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure he's gonna be able to deal with that mm -hmm. in the long run. They're gonna have to shield through it. Yeah. This Inkling playing that hit and run game so well, and Meta Knight has to has to commit pretty hard. Oops, unfortunately, missing the up air, but gets a grab anyways. Ooh, all right. Uh, as he missing a lot here, um, not quite getting punished for it as much as he should. Mm -hmm. And with Ooh. Inkling, that's definitely possible. Just charging it right up. Not gonna die over at 82. Oh, that was really smart. No hitbox on that up B. That was a really smart decision by Azzy to use that there. All right, let's see what the ledge guard is. We'll barely be a three that be no. All right, good run up down tilt. What do um, we have here? Now we need to see how Azzy's gonna get his confirms because he's out of percent for a lot of the combos. Ooh, that upbeat hit back. by sending him down. Fourth, we're not gonna do much. Gonna convert in the bomb, not at all, but good coverage of the ledge there. All right. Who's gonna? Oh, uh, I thought he was gonna up throw on platform, but might not have killed yet. Ooh, wow, wow that great down so B. Long. Still not gonna kill. Includes That's recovery, insane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yep. Little far out of range for the up throw up air. Both players are pretty high percents here. Don't All know right. how Azzy's gonna be able to kill Inkling. Oh, there's the roller. Yep, I was gonna say, I haven't seen uh, Aki really use it that much, but uh, looks like he's saving it for the kills. All right, here comes the ledge trapping. Ooh, one of the rolls. Not doing fantastic with it. That bomb almost reached him. If you're really careful about Mennonite, because you can recover from so far away, and there's so many different options you have yeah. to cover. All but right. Inkling with all of um, the bomb and the roller. And the Ooh, wow, nice. fantastic that's, read. That dimensional cave can be so hard to react to, just because he's suddenly gone and he's just instantly back and you're dead. Ooh, nice. Nice answer from Aki there. Lots of neutral. Ooh, yeah, Punishing the grab. Kind of interrupting that uh, dash attack up smash going on there. Dash attack seem to work pretty well for um, for Azzy. Not sure mm. how much longer that's gonna last. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. All right, there's gonna get some ink on him. Oh, I like the use of the slap bomb there to cover the uh, the roll away. So As do I. Didn't work out for him. Options like that always have to be covered, and with an extra utility like a slap bomb, it's pretty guaranteed that you should do that. Mm -hmm. Also, that uh, that inkling up tilt is such a potent combo tool. Cause like the grounded hitbox doesn't always work, work, but if you can catch someone with it, that's like another up, another neutral air, some couple of aerials. It's really good. Oop, good anti air there. Oh, out of ink. He's got to get some of that back. So that's not a taunt. I remember in the set, I'm like, is he taunting me? I don't, <laughs> I don't know anything about inkling. Oh, inkling is, oh, inkling <laughs> is a little ridiculous. Oh, another dimensional cave wow. catching and sleeping. Yeah, Inkling, his dash, or their dash puts them under a lot of moves. Mm. Like the berry on the roller, I'm sure you've you've seen it. Oh, of course. Absolutely ridiculous. The Inkling special. Ooh, good parry. Great parry. Not going to get the back off of it like you wanted. Ooh, still not able to get that up throw up air. At high percents like this, up throw is not going to come in combo into much. Ooh, yeah, he wanted to get away from that edge guard, but couldn't. All right. Oh, going for the interview twice. Not getting punished for it. I really like Azzy's usage of that um, of the tornado as a ledge guard there because Inkling's up B, as fast and good as it is, it still has no hitbox. So he's just going to run right into that tornado. Ooh, no we tech. tech those. Come on. We, we, I guess, you know, so we get days off. <laughs> we usually tech those. This is, an off. This, is, this is a weekend. I like the idea of the down throw into up air, but couldn't quite get it. Um, Aki's <laughs> DI being pretty great. I think Aki might have been expecting the dimensional cave that time, but uh, just F smashing a little bit misspaced. I wouldn't necessarily call them gimmicks, but the dimensional cape is definitely a tool that um, you use sparingly. And it's, a, it's basically, if you use it enough times, it becomes a mind game thing of will you, won't you. Mm -hmm. And um, that's where the real challenge comes in there. Yeah, but this is where I feel Inkling struggles the most in any situation. That was a playing wall jump behind. tech? What was that? that Off was the side of the stage. Ooh, left tilt still not doing it. Yeah, this is just where Inkling can sometimes struggle, is to finally land that killing hit. But... Yeah, as he's doing a great job not getting inked or anything. Oh, oh wow! Missing the up air, eating it. Forward. Not going for, the, not going for the up B, getting punished. Um, as he going straight for the ledge guard. I like how he's used the bombs a lot here in these situations, especially at the ledge where he goes underneath the stage, covering the low up B. Mm -hmm. 
that's a great way to uh, put pressure and really put oh, your opponent ooh, right nice. in place. But the back air gonna do it. Oh yeah, off stage pressure in this game is gonna be so important, especially against Inkling, because like they can go so far, but like you know the lack of hitboxes on the uppy makes it a little hard for them if you know someone's throwing stuff at them. Exactly. So very good pressure from Azzy coming out. I feel like yeah, I feel like Akiyoko was playing solidly. Mm. It was just like he did. Struggle to kill for a little bit. I also so think he's um, whiffing quite a few punishes that Inkling should be able to cover mm -hmm. with with the speed and at least like the uh, the down tilt and yeah, jab like and things like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Like he's has a lot of like fast poke options and Akiyoko was it looked like a little bit of desperation with the forward smashes all over mm. the place. So I would not be shocked to see him go Ivy if he felt like he couldn't really kill with Inkling. Mm. So we'll see where we go. What are we doing? What are we doing? Hazard's on. Hazard's what we feel like today. That's interesting. That's what it felt like. It felt like a Mario Party game where it just holds down on the stick and it goes back and forth. <laughs> this, is, this whole tournament is a mini game. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Winner gets 10 coins. That's that's actually the, uh, the entry fee was a coin. You get 10 if you win. Uh, Let's see where we're going. Uh, pirate ship. Oh, we're on the pirate ship. <laughs> Gentlemen, the pirate ship. Ooh, Kalos. Okay, okay. All right. Hmm. All right. Yeah, we'll see what the uh, we'll see what the counter pick here is character wise if he switches. Um, Ike. I have not seen this. I haven't, I haven't I have either. I'll be either. completely honest. All right, so let's see how this goes here. So something, the only parry in the previous game came from Azzy. And Ike is a character who relies on that, that falling neutral air. So as Azzy starts to see that coming, I feel like that'll be something that he can start to hard counter. But Absolutely. it's also very fast and hard to punish if you miss the parry. So we'll see if uh, what, kind of, what kind of play comes out of this. But even then, with the air mobility, mm -hmm. um, as he should be able to just zone out um, Ike's nair as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I think with the the lack of range that Meta Knight has, still gonna be able to. I think still be able to get it. Also, uh, I now know that Meta Knight falling neutral into dash attack is a combo. <laughs> so that'll be all right. That'll be something to look out for as a confirm. Ooh, yeah, that platform isn't gonna make catching those landings as easy anymore from ledge. Alright, let's see what the trap here is. Trying to frame to him with that nair, not gonna get it. Mm -hmm, has a great job dancing around all those aerials. Ooh, yep, neutral air Fantastic. up tilt. Neutral air up there. Bread and butter stuff for Ike. Okay, I like the decision by Azzy not to swing there, just to see what Aki's escape option is gonna be. Not getting punished for that fully charged sports map. <laughs> it do be like that sometimes. <laughs> it can, it's hard, you know? Wait, was it the Meta Knight that had used? Was it uh, Azzy that had used the forward smash? Yep. Oh yeah, it's it's such a low lag move that it can be hard to punish sometimes. I wouldn't necessarily call it safe, but if you see it more than once, it's definitely something to look out <gasps> for. Incredible usage of the jab. He is dead. Yep. With things, wow. with moves like that, with Krom and Ike, it's it's so easy to just see, mm -hmm. right poking head above the stage, jab, counter, anything like that yeah. gets him I off. I've cause like I know that like Krom's up B doesn't have a hitbox on the way up, mm -hmm. so like it's pretty easy to do it to him. But like yep. I didn't know it'd be that easy on Ike too. I'm sure you range him out and you just bop, and then they're gone. See if he does it here again. Nope, she's gonna get the grab. Landing on stage for some reason. He was the. Uh, like that's gonna be damage. Ouch. Wow. Crazy amount. Run up forward tilt. Oh, not a safe, not a safe back air on shield there. But um. Up throw over that up air? Oh, not bad. Meta Knight d just did the Ike approach of just full hopping and nearing onto shield, and uh, not surprising. Hey, what did you it. expect? <laughs> All right. Yep. Forward just air. Falling with that forward air. Mm -hmm. What is it with um, a couple of players just like tapping shield? It's yeah. That's that's probably him. Oh my god. It's probably <laughs> oh as he's trying to pick it back. Yeah, because I remember seeing uh, Spirit to do that before, where you just like tap, tap, tap the shield. I don't know. I don't know what it does. It's it doesn't actually do anything, but it's just like you know, it's kind of what you do if you're going for a parry. Yeah. Ooh, let's get damage with the pummels there. Oh, yep, covering jump from ledge with jab. Good stuff. Ooh, That's not safe. A perfect read from Azzy. Oh this time, my lord. Dimensional game almost coming in clutch again, but not quite taking the stock. Those Cybees are not safe, <laughs> and I think I I think all I I think all Ikes need to be punished accordingly. Some things never change, you know. Meta Knight, you know, still has up air combos, but his up still also does not work. <laughs> That's oh. not safe. I bet he. Wow, getting that shield right there. Azzy not being quite quick enough to be able to punish it. Oh my god. This is a very scary position for Azzy. Ike with rage is not something you want to deal with. I think at that recovery with the side B. Ooh. Wow, great read. I think yes. with Ike coming onto stage with side B, um, 
should be able to be ready for it. Ike should be punished 100% of the time, and I'm amazed. Oh my. I'm amazed that Aki's getting away with the shield every uh -huh. single time. Because yeah, usually when Ike's like charged that side, he's oh, catching the neutral. Wow. Down. Wow. Amazing timing, letting go of that forward smash. All right, so that counter pick working out pretty well for Akioko there. Yeah, you got the, the you know typical neutral air up air confirms. How did the um, how do you how was the second stock lost? I don't I don't remember. I don't remember either. He was. Hmm. Well, whatever he was doing, it seemed to be working. <laughs> and, um, and, and we we can now see that uh, as he's still struggling to kind of deal with those Ike aerials, they're still as projected as they might be. They're still so fast, strong, everything combos. So. Good pick from Akioko. Good play coming out from him. Ooh. Let's see what we're, we're gonna, gonna go see Wario wear today. Hmm. All right. All right. Going back to a stadium. All right. Same matchup, different stage. Let's I think it's basically the. Um, I think it's basically the same thing. Just the platforms are in further. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stage won't be affecting it too much because it's a fairly neutral stage. So we'll see if um, we'll see if Azzy can make some adjustments he needs to do. Because something I feel like Meta Knight could do against Ike is to abuse him off stage. Because mm. like those, his gimping tools are so strong, and Ike he doesn't have many options when it comes to recovery. So Azzy might he might benefit from going out there a bit more. Let's see how he goes. I'm not gonna get any of those aerials, letting Ike freely recover. Not getting punished for it at all. Wow. Ooh, yep. Unsafe back around shield. They're gonna get grabbed for it. There's the up airs. Up B. No. no, no. Maybe 20 more percent. It would have. Still very good damage. Oh my god. <laughs> all right. Good stuff. Yeah, all right. He has to get Azzy off this percent right now, or he's going to be in trouble for a while. I think right, Aki, nice. Aki, wow, there charging the side B, not a great option. Mm -hmm. Alright, yep, Aki, ha he hadn't been punished for it before, and uh, so Azzy did a good job capitalizing on him being comfortable. Absolutely. Dash tech gonna work in his favor, getting lots of areas. Are we back in wow. Brawl? That missed tech on the platform, e making him eat 50 40. What? A wow, <laughs> just a read, straight read. An incredible trade, wow. I think of that as um, a melee fox kind of thing where you have two options you go up or you go to the side. Mm -hmm. And being able to cover both of those, yeah. or at least reading one of them with that neutral be like uh, like as he did right there, is a great move. Like at least Fox can angle his uppy. I can only mm -hmm. go straight up. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was oh that was oh, dangerous. Oh wow! Oh no, a Akioko getting a little greedy and dying at 21 for it. Wow. Very sad. Yeah, that was really back and forth. But then as he just. All right, I'm gonna have to head up, man. 